I, I thought our whole group, uh, in particular our young guys, I, I don't think there was any issues with the game, getting caught up in the hype or getting overwhelmed by the just the, uh, distracted, maybe the better word, you know, with what was going on in the building, the noise, the fans, um, and we weren't caught on our heels waiting for them to do something. We came out, so it was our whole group, but our our young guys, and I think as a coach coming in with a lot of young guys, it was your first experience. It was no different, I, I think, when you go into some new buildings, you go into Madison Square Garden the first time, or you go into Philadelphia, you go into Montreal, Toronto. You know, some of those buildings that probably mean something to to these guys. You know, their first time going through, you're worried about it, and this is the first experience of playoff hockey and playing in Pittsburgh. And I thought. The guys were focused and ready, and it should help now. You know, our feet are wet, and I think we know what to expect come Saturday. It, it'll be a, it'll be you know somewhat different, but I think we know what to expect from Pittsburgh. I think we know what to expect uh, in the arena. Coach, how jazz was uh, RJ when he got the news, or has he known for a couple of days that he'd play Humberger? Uh, you, you know what? It was just uh, the other day that he was just cleared that our our, our medical. Mike Volk came to me and said he's good to go. What do you expect from him, a guy playing in his hometown? I know he's played playoff games there before. Uh, ho- hopefully he'll, br- he'll bring some energy and some excitement because he's, he's been out for a little bit and, and a chance to get back with the group and, and, uh, and hopefully come in and contribute, just do the things that, that he does well. Was RJ playing the way you wanted him to from the benching right before he got injured? Was he back to the level that you wanted him? Uh, it, you know, what we want from all of our guys is just come out and play hard and everything that you got. RJ, you know, he scored some big goals for us, power play goals. And um, I, I, I think as a coach, you're always striving, you're always asking for more. And um, uh, I know RJ coming in. Again, he's going to put in that position, and he's going to come out, and he's going to play hard for us. How much more important are the little things right now with playoff hockey? Are they, or are they just more magnified more? Or how does that work? Every every play is critical. So you can talk about details and being in position, and um, you know when is the next play that's going to be the deciding moment in the game. What's going to be the difference? You don't know when it's going to happen. You know after the game when it happened. Um, but as players, it's it's when you climb over the boards, it's being ready for that moment, whether it's a defensive play or an offensive play. Um, so the the moment might come down to a little detail. So it's, it might be two feet here, two feet there, and stick position, uh, whatever it is. So, it, it, you know, it's, it's talked about a lot because the, uh, the moments are big now. We've asked the players, and you've talked about the players in their first Stanley Cup playoff game, but what about you personally, your first as a head coach? Was it just another game for you as well? Did you have a chance to reflect on that? No, it wasn't just another game. It it, it had a different feel to it. Um, you know, all day. I, I think leading up to it, we didn't have a lot of. Uh, uh, I was talking with uh, 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 Bill Zito, and Bill asked me, "He's like, have you been able to enjoy it?" And this is prior to the game, and I said, "I haven't had time to think about it." You know, we finished on Saturday and Sunday. We were down here for ten hours preparing for it. And then you have a meeting on Monday, a meeting on Tuesday, and you're practicing, and, and next thing you know, it's game it's game day. And again, you're still trying to finish up with your prep, prep work without overwhelming the guys. At least trying to, trying to find that balance of what information you give them without giving them too much. And um, It probably wasn't until the afternoon that I was able to, to think about the moment, what's going to happen. And then once you got out there and uh, warm-ups and you could see the fans win all their T-shirts in different colors, and uh, that's when I, you really sensed it was different. Todd, RJ's had some huge playoff series through the years. Does that add to your level of excitement getting him back in? Well, he's a guy that can contribute offensively. He's got 18 goals for us. He's done it in the past uh, as far as scoring goals, uh, leading our team in power play goals. You know, in, in a in a team, not necessarily. I, I don't want to say that we're looking for offense, but he's. You know, we scored three goals, and three goals wasn't enough. Uh, when maybe in playoff hockey it should be, 
but to me, it's you know he's got experience. He's played in big games. He's played in big moments, uh, and a guy that has proven uh, over the years that he can he can finish when given the opportunity. Todd, the decision to come back to Columbus after Game One um, to get two practices in here. What what was the the mindset behind that? Was it to to get out of town, to sleep in your own bed, to focus? Back? It was just being at home. You know we. we Prior to the game one, we had finished on the road. We, you know, it wasn't a long time or a lengthy uh, trip, but we were still what we were three three games and four nights, and, and you travel home. And Sunday, you weren't really home, and then you know we're leaving again. Instead of spending you know days off in a hotel, um, trying to find out where you're going to go eat, uh, you know, there's something about being at home, just the comfort of being at home. So, you know, these guys have families and kids, and a lot of times at this time of year, it's good to be around family. And it's it, and the real reason, well, not the real reason, but another reason, was just a short trip. You know, when, once we get on the plane, it's 25 minutes to a half hour to get here. So we were in our, in our beds at a decent hour. We were up early the, the next day, and we had the whole day, and we got today, at least, you know, guys waking up in their own beds. And so I, I, I totally believe it's the right decision. Todd Felina was was flying today and looked like he was moving pretty good yesterday. What's the next hurdle for him to get into the lineup, and is there any chance he plays Saturday at all? I, I still have to talk to Mike Vote about that one. I, I was watching him today, too, for the first time, and I like the way that he looks. So, of course, that gets you as a coach. Uh, it gets you excited, and Dan Hynote skated him afterwards, and first thing out of his mouth was Nick looks really good. Uh, next step is for me to talk to Mike and find out exactly where he's at, and, and then you know talk to Nick and find out where he's at. And I, I think if he asks Nick, Nick wants to play tomorrow. But again, we got to make the right decision. Sometimes you have to intervene with these guys because they would, they would, they, they just want to play, and you don't want to put them in a um, in a risky position where they're going to make it worse. You make any defensive adjustments in terms of personnel for Saturday? Uh, right now, no. Same, same six. Todd, following up on uh, Tim's question about being here in Columbus, has that allowed your guys and, and you personally to absorb any buzz that's in the city, or are you guys pretty insulated right now? Uh, no, you, 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 can, you can sense it. I was driving. I had to drive. My son had hockey last night. I was driving up to Chiller North, and there's a billboard right up the highway on 315, and you see that, and you're driving in early in the morning. You see on the nationwide building, go jackets. Um, so you you can you can see it in different pockets, and then you know my, my neighborhood I live in. People are if I happen to be outside are stopping, and you know it's well wishes, and so it, it, it's it, it was similar to last season as far as the the buzz and people. There's more now because we know it, and you can see it on the billboards. You can see it on the buildings. Todd, you talked about <clears throat> excuse me getting away from your game in the third period. <clears throat> On Wednesday, leading to some turnovers, you feel lesson learned. Well, it's something that we talked about, so I I hope so. We'll we'll find out come tomorrow. Um, you know, you go back and you watch it. They're they're a very good hockey team. They'll put you in positions where, you know, they'll tease you about making trying to make plays, and and then you turn it over, and they're they're ready to go back at you. So we got to play to our strengths. I I think the guys. Uh, saw that I think we we worked on it we addressed it and I'm anticipating our guys coming out and again playing blue jacket hockey